Hi, I am reaching out to the heart of so many people out there at the moment. And I've got a story of a mum and a five-year-old. And I am needing your prayers to be sent out to this five-year-old. It is a separation. And the mother herself has had her second. She had a life-threatening experience and was basically brushed aside as she went to hospital, had some tests and was told to go home with Panadol. Now this woman, the pain that she endured, she quoted that it was worse than childbirth. Now how many women out there know that the, the pain that we endure for that, imagine on her heart after this. So three months later, she's still suffering. Now she's been given a court case and it became urgent because it's under the, the C word and the hearing is in two days. I have reached out to so many people for her. I have, I am pleading now. The story goes that because of her experience with this, her life threatening experience and she's suffering three months later, it has woken her up to do her own research now she got a case where the partner wants their five-year-old. And you can imagine the thought if the same side effects happened to her little boy, she could not live with herself. So she reached out. She touched my heart and honestly, I have been trying and emailing and calling nonstop. I put it out on a big group and um, one of Sue Gray's admin ladies contacted me and said that she will contact her over the weekend. We are now Tuesday and we're still waiting and hoping and praying. We've also gone to Voices of Freedom for the legal side. Again, we are sitting and praying. We've got two days left. Our time is running out and I don't know what else to do. I've gone to a sheriff. I've gone to you name it. And while I put that plea out, other women have come to me with the same story. And it's so scary for them because this lady, her lawyer told her, do not fight it because you will lose your children because he's also going for full custody and he will use this against her. She is married, got her own business and he the father as a frequent user of, you know what, and unemployed. So I stand for her. I stand for her fear of standing for her child and protection. Her lawyer quoted, don't fight it because you will lose. Her child was taken with, by a complete stranger in the school to the principal office to ask a five-year-old whether he would like to have this in his arm. Now, come on, a five-year-old making a life decision. What happened to parents' right for standing for their children? The doctor 
has written an affidavit quoting, he sees no problem on the child receiving it because it is safe for children. He's also written that the mother is of good health and would not write anything about her heart condition because of this. And we all know why, because he will lose his license. For the one doctor that I ran to, yes, Matt Shelton, he stood up for us out there, all of us. And he's been helping me as well. And I take my hat off to him. But it is really hard when we do not have legal representation for her that will support her. So the next best thing I can do is put this out to you all to give and send prayers to this beautiful mother and their five-year-old child, her five-year-old child, for total protection. Because there is another mother that came to me and there was another woman that's reached out as well. And we know of the father that was in the same situation and the judge ruled that the child to get the and was then suppressed from seeing that child again. What has happened to our system when a parent cannot be heard? When everybody else's opinion counts. And what's what I don't understand is the mandates have dropped. This five-year-old child is not in the healthcare system. As in a doctor or a nurse having to look after sick people. This child is incredibly healthy. I can't imagine how many stories, how many parents are in the same predicament and there is nothing for them. I even got told, what would you know? And I personally am boosted and I do not find it a problem. And I said to her, I stand for everybody to have a choice like myself. I made my own decision of not receiving this. The reason being, I did my research way beforehand and everybody should be given a choice. Now this five-year-old does not have a choice. A judge is going to make the decision. It is so sad. The thing that has alarmed us as well is that she provided to her lawyer the documents on documents that have been released and was told that the judge will not read it. Will not read anything other than a medical on the child's health. Will not look at anything of what the mother will present. And in VancouverTimes.org stated, Randy Johnson, the executive vice president, has been arrested at his home and charged with multiple counts of fraud by the US federal agents. This comes as thousands of classified documents from were released, showing the true risks of their experimental. As these documents were not meant to be released till 2075. The court overturned the ruling and are out in the public domain. A judge has granted media blackout on request of Raddy's lawyers 
and Google is suppressing search results. Fact checkers and big tech censors are working overtime to censor this article. So when, you know, think about it, when mainstream media are not taking up the story, true or false, then you have to ask yourself, what's up with that? I'm wearing, and it was gifted to me last night by my daughter, and it's hands off our children. So I stand for all the parents out there and all the people that are supporting and standing with all these other parents to protect the children. And this is something I feel so strong about. And I've got the rights to play the song to you. And it was created for the children. And this is what this t-shirt is all about. And it is a powerful, powerful song. And listen to the words. So please, get behind the children. I'm so passionate about this. So please, if you know anyone that can help these mothers, please write to me below.
that get behind these beautiful parents and send love to them. And if you know of anyone that can help, please, please send them my way. And also share this out and get it out because we need to get behind the children that have no voice. Thank you so much for listening. I thank you so much in advance.